right, we're going to do a pod review today on the pepper right over there, and that is called the Greek Pepperoncini. And I figured I'd give that a go this year to see if it's any different from the Italian pepperoncini. Now, pepperoncinis are capsaicin anum something. There's another name to it. It's not a regular anum. They do fall into a different species line. But we're going to pick this one right here. That one's nice and ripe. Look at that. Get you good lighting on this. The Greek pepperoncini. That's a fully ripe one, too, by the way. Oh, there's a little mark on there. A little bit of bug damage, so this may not be edible. May have to bite and see. May have to spit. Spit or swallow. Probably spitting this one out. Gorgeous little pepper. Now, this isn't the golden Greek pepperoncini. I do plan on growing the golden Greek pepperoncini in the future. But for now, we're just doing the plain, everyday Greek pepperoncini instead of the Italian one. So we'll see what the difference is between them. But it's a beautiful looking pepper. Looks very similar to the pepperoncinis that I crossed and got those super hot ones out there. I'll show you that really quick. Here's my super hot pepperoncinis. You can see what they look like. Mine are a little different. Let me see. I can't even see you in the, in the lens. But mine are a little bit different. That's what my pepperoncinis look like. And mine will cook you alive. All right. So anyway, let's uh, turn you around and give it a go. Guys, we're going to do a pod review today on this pepper right here, and this is called the Greek pepperoncini. Now, this is a different variation of the pepperoncini, and as opposed to the standard Italian pepperoncini, they are a different species of pepper. It's not your typical capsaicin anum. This is actually is a variant to all the pepperoncinis, so there is a little bit of a difference to that particular variety of pepper. But this is what it looks like. I'm trying to get you some good light. That's what it looks like. A little bug damage there, so i got to spit that part out, see if there's any insects in there. And then uh, we'll bite on the upper part. It's a gorgeous little pepper. We're going to be growing this one out again next year. We're going to keep this plant alive through the winter to see how it performs outdoors. So let's bite that end off. Appears to be all right. We'll take another bite and see what it tastes like. That's so nice. I think I like this better than the Italian pepperoncini, to be honest with you. I think it's very, very nice. Flavor. First of all, it's very sweet because it's all the way ripened. So it's going to be very sweet and sugary. If you pick them when they're green, they're going to be very mild in flavor. Almost no flavor at all. That's why when you pickle pepperoncinis, you put it in vinegar. So in general, the vinegar becomes a dominating flavor in the pickling. But... In this particular case, I'm eating them raw, and man, I'll tell you, that is, this is really, really tastes good, even with the bug bite in there. Got that sweet, apple type flavor. Very thin wall, so when you take a bite and you go to chew it up, it's like almost gone. It's not like eating a big bell pepper thing. This is like one quick bite, and it's gone. You get a quick flavor from it. This is really nice. You can literally stand out in your garden and just start munching these things down. There's very, very little heat on this. Almost no heat at all. It's very low. It's probably, I don't know, maybe between 3 and 400 on a Scoville scale. It's so low. It's And it's a very warm, slight glow. It's not even glowing in any way. It's just like a slight glow. It's kind of heating up my lips a little bit, across the top of the tongue. That's really it. I mean, you won't even really pick it up. The, the real part that's really heating up mostly right now is my lips. I still feel that. So it's really about it. But it's not hot or anything. It's just, it's like almost barely noticeable. But this is a very, very nice pepper. I definitely, definitely got to grow this out next year by the hundreds. Want to see what the potential of this plant is when you grow it outdoors. So we will be growing it outdoors. But the flavor of this thing... When they're fully ripe, you can't beat that, guys. That flavor is phenomenal. It's an absolutely delicious 
pepper in every way, shape, and form. Now, again, when they're light green like that, I don't know. They're kind of bland when they're like that. You really got to pickle them if you're going to pick them green. You really want to pickle them at that point. You don't want to pick them green and eat them. There's just... It's not fun, really. Though, I'll tell you, the seeds don't develop in them when you pick them green like that. And it's you can just eat the whole pepper and you're not getting the seeds. I hate chewing seeds. But if you pick them like that, the seeds don't develop and you won't even notice anything. You can just literally eat the whole thing off of there. But... Again, there's no flavor in it, so I don't know why you'd want to do that. But anyway, that was a quick pod review for the Greek pepperoncini. Next year, we will do the golden, or next year or the future year after that, I might do the golden Greek uh, pepperoncini because that one's supposed to be really good as well. All right, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.